Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to the vlog. Today is... That's my dog. Today is Sunday, September 22nd. It is officially the first day of fall. I am in my Colts sweatshirt. It is going to be just a beautiful Sunday. I feel like I have so many updates to give you guys. Like, life is really exciting right now. It feels so good outside right now. It feels like, like it feels like fall, and the birds are chirping. I want to make a coffee. We're just gonna have a few days. I'm so excited that you guys are here. Welcome back to the vlog. Subscribe if you're new. First things first. Let's make a coffee. I have been absolutely obsessed with my new coffee maker. It's gotten me back into coffees. Um, I took a very long break from drinking coffee, mostly because it was giving me like a food version but we're back in it baby i've been trying to like have matcha every few days in the morning just so that i don't like get addicted and have to have a coffee when i wake up but i can feel myself getting back into it and i feel like it's also because of the time of year like i love like hot coffee this time of year in the morning I found the world's best espresso beans blue bottle um at the grocery store i think i found them at um sprouts last week and i just have like espresso beans from Publix that i found right now so i feel like that is gonna like elevate my morning coffee i guess i threw away the bag so i pour these in here i want a really cozy mug this morning look how cute these mugs are these are my grandma's mugs from somewhere in europe i think they were made in england yeah my grandma passed away this past spring and i kept those from her house they're so cute but they're not big enough to hold coffee i always make a cappuccino i don't know why i just like a cappuccino latte art you guys not that this is a latte oh my god it's too much she is beauty she is grace i do have leftover milk i can't get it in taste test so good so good Yum, I feel like I could have added just a little bit more pistachio because it has like a hint of pistachio flavoring, but it's so good. Mm -mm -mm. It feels fall, like this is the best. I know I have been promising you guys to decorate for fall in the last couple videos. This video, we're doing it. I am off today and tomorrow. We are decorating for fall one of those days. <laughs> I have so many updates to share with you guys, so I'm just gonna ramble for a little bit, but I also wanna open like a PR package from Skin Fix while I ramble. Okay, so on Friday, I did my last full um, week of working full-time in primary care. So exciting. Um, my new schedule going forward is going to be Tuesdays and Fridays. Um, in aesthetics with Saturdays if I have any bookings if I don't have bookings I don't have to be there but like obviously I want bookings so like Tuesday Friday Saturday and then Wednesday and Thursday in primary care right now so the great thing about my aesthetics job because I know even for me like going into this I was like wow I have been really in like my soft nursing era um, not like not that my job isn't hard but like four 10 hour shifts no weekends no holidays no like on call i was traveling like a lot of traveling which i still want to do and i'm i don't know how it's going to work but like this is just such a good opportunity i can't pass this up just because i like don't want the schedule and if i want to be in aesthetics like that's the schedule i have to get used to so sacrifices but anyway so wrapped up my last full week of working part-time and then 
I mean working full time. And then yesterday we did an allergen training with my company, which is Goldfingers Aesthetics. I don't think that I've said that out loud, but I work at Goldfingers Aesthetics, which is a plastic surgery and aesthetic office with multiple locations around Tampa, but I am at their Northdale location in Tampa. So I'm so excited. If you guys are interested in getting Botox, filler, Sculptra, Skin V, um, anything like that, let me know, full facial balancing, I'm so excited <laughs> but yeah so um, yesterday we went to an allergen training event um, with my company it was literally just all of the locations in Orlando for training we did like a cadaver lab in the morning and then um, we got to do like a bunch of training on <clears throat> the business aspect of it so it was so fun so cool I really didn't know that my company was that big we also did training with skin medica I am now obsessed with medical grade skincare I have to go buy <laughs> like their TNA TNS um, which is like bait bo Botox in a bottle and then I need their face wash and I need their correcting cream or even and correct or something like that um, because they gave us um, samples and I'm like obsessed. I feel like my skin has never looked better. So did that. My husband Seth was also in Orlando yesterday so he kind of hung out and then afterwards we got dinner, went to the mall and did a little bit of shopping. I'll show you guys what I got in a second. And then came home, I binge watched a few episodes of Emily in Paris, finished it. Honestly, loved it, loved Michello. I think that's his name, I don't sound right. Who is Gabrielle? Like, we don't need him. Emily in Rome, please. But anyway, and then here we are this morning. I am so rambly because I'm so happy, so I'm sorry. Like, I just have like joy spewing out of me, it feels like, but I have a little package from Skin Fix. They reached out and asked if they could send me some stuff. So they sent me, ooh, their triple lipid peptide cream. Ooh, I'm excited for that. I love like a peptide cream. And then their Skin Barrier Moisturing Gel Cream. Ooh. So exciting. I love getting PR. I think it's like the coolest thing in the world that companies like want to send me stuff. Like who am I? Oh, it's a drunk elephant vibe. <laughs> I have never owned a drunk elephant pro elephant product, but you can like do this, basically get the product up there. That's nice. It doesn't really, it kind of smells like sunscreen, but not in a like offensive way. I like the smell of sunscreen. It's a hydrator and it's not, I don't like water-based hydrators. I like more um, like oily hy hydrator. Not oily is not like the term for it, I don't, but I guess it probably is, but like thicker. That feels really nice. And then this is their Barrier Plus Skin Barrier Restoring Gel Cream. What are you supposed to use these? The same. Oh, this one feels like lighter. It's a little bit more watery. I think they're both like essentially moisturizers that you would use. I think I would pick this one if you like a like a thicker moisturizer like I do, and I would pick this one if you like a more like watery based moisturizers but they both feel really nice so thank you skin fix that was so nice of you so yesterday we went to the mall of millennia which is in orlando which really rivals for me at tampa international mall i love tampa international mall and i love mall of millennia like they're both so good so whenever i'm in orlando i stop by that mall and we got some apple products so Fun fact that I have been using my husband's MacBook Pro from his old job. He was an athletic director for five years. I don't know if I told you guys, but he switched jobs a couple months ago and now he is um, a recruiter for a nursing program for university, which is so funny and he like absolutely loves it because he loves nurses. But, um, so I've been using his old work computer and it's not old, it's very nice. And I was just gonna keep using this, but 
they texted him and asked him to give it back. So I have to give it back. And my MacBook Air that I bought probably like five or six years ago when I first moved to Tampa cannot hold any more like storage. I've tried to like delete everything on there. It just, it doesn't work the same. So I had to buy a new computer. Which honestly, like, I don't like buying stuff like this. Like, I don't want to, but I'm very blessed that I'm able to. So, I got a MacBook Air in the color, I think, Starlight. One terabyte of storage because I needed it. And this is going to be my new editing computer. I'm going to edit my vlog for today on my old computer, and then we'll turn it in tomorrow. And then, Seth, for his job, was like, I feel like I need an iPad. And they were actually running a really good promotion. Like if you were in school or like worked in education, you get $150 off. So when I bought my MacBook Air, we got a $150 off um, gift card. And then we used that to buy this one. Um, and then they gave us a $100 gift card for this one. And so then we bought the pin that goes with it for this one. <laughs> so anyway, he got an iPad Air really for work because he uses it. He takes a lot of notes and stuff and doesn't like to write on paper. Um, so that was for him, but I have a new computer that I need to set up today. But before we do that, I have been rambling so much. We need to get our ice roller, put on a YouTube, sit outside, enjoy this gorgeous weather this morning. lately I feel like I got out of it for a little while um, just because I've been lazy but we're getting to ice rolling <laughs> some goat's milk yogurt to put in their um, food and then I'm also gonna add some berries blueberries just for the antioxidants but I would love to feed them like fully like raw food but it's just like crazy expensive if I'm being completely honest so I just put a few crunchies in the bottom and then I'm gonna add this stuff to it if you can see I don't know if you can see yeah who's your nose I can't find my blueberries, so this is their dinner. I have a very excited boy here. We did go to Trader Joe's, which I showed you guys a few clips of, and I got a few fall-inspired things. The first one is, is these vanilla pumpkin-scented candles. I love these candles, and I actually need to put one right there because this candle won't burn anymore. I got this one from Target, but it's done. So we'll throw that away. What else I got to show you guys? Okay, I also got this almond paste, which I love almond paste. Um, I don't know what I'm going to use it on, but I love Kringla. I grew up in like a Danish household and we would put this, we would like almond paste was in everything. So I got this and I'm going to try to experiment with them. My snack area is kind of crazy. I also got this organic maple butter because I thought this would be really good to put in coffees in the morning. I also got this autumnal harvest creamy pasta sauce. This is not vegan, it's vegetarian, but I wanted to try it. You guys know I'm like, consider myself to be a little bit more plant-based these days and I'm not super strict um, in regards to like having dairy, but I do try to eat mostly vegan, but when I just like wanna try things, I just let myself do it. It's not that big of a deal. I got some pumpkin dog treats right here. I think that's really it, but I, oh, I think, never mind. I also grabbed this pumpkin oat beverage because I thought this would be really good just as like coffee in the morning um, to use this instead of like an oat milk. And okay, I think that is actually it that I got. This is what I'm making for dinner tonight. It's this green goddess pasta salad and I'm just gonna make it vegan by switching out. There's a few things in here that aren't vegan like the mozzarella, but that's really it. So like the dressing calls for nutritional yeast, cashews, all of that stuff. So we're gonna make this for dinner tonight. It looks so yummy. Mm -hmm. 
really good. I would say it needs like a little bit more nutritional yeast or something. But overall, like, I would give it like 7.5 out of 10. Today is so exciting because it is like it feels part-time like I'm not going to work today um, I still have I have today off <coughs> and today we're gonna do a bunch of stuff for social media um, because technically this is my two-day weekend Sundays and Mondays for sure so I'm gonna try to basically hit my social media stuff really hard today but I should relax a little bit but I don't know. I, I'm not good at like relaxing and not doing anything on a weekday. Like I just can't really fathom that. So I don't know. It's really hard for me, but I don't really want to anyway. So we have a lot to do. I made a, oh my God, a maple pumpkin um, matcha. It's so yummy. I made it using um, that maple, like, whipped maple that I showed you guys from Trader Joe's yesterday and then their um, like pumpkin oat milk and it is 10 out of 10. Um, you guys saw me make it this morning. It's really simple. I just added like a teaspoon. I think it was probably more like a half a teaspoon of the whipped maple to my matcha powder. Put some water over it. Mix it up like normal. I cold frothed my that pumpkin oat milk and then I just put it together. So so easy took five minutes yeah we got up really early this morning actually i got up at 6 a.m this morning with my husband to take the dogs for a walk and just kind of like spend the morning together because we felt like we hadn't really seen each other except for yesterday so it was nice to just have like a little bit of time together this morning we went took the dogs for a walk when it was literally pitch black outside um and it was a good way for me to start my day i think after i finish this matcha i'm gonna do I'm gonna do like a little devotional as well like my gratitude journal devotional and then we're gonna decorate for fall I'm so excited to finally do it honestly I do need to check honestly I do need to check if home goods is even open <laughs> it says opening soon what time does home goods open 9 30 okay so first we'll just go to Target actually um, I need really what I need is outdoor stuff like I did this really cute setup of outdoor stuff oh, car coming um last year and i had like cute little witches hats hanging down from like some gutters but it wouldn't stay like every time there was like a little bit of wind they would get blown everywhere and it was really just like a diy so it didn't look good so we are gonna go see what we can find at Target. I feel like it's a good time to go to Target. It's like it's literally nine o'clock on a Monday morning. Like who else is at Target? We absolutely hit the jackpot at Target. There was so much good stuff. And I don't really feel like I need to go to Home Goods. The only thing that I would like from Home Goods is I like the cute little sign, um, like by my door, and maybe like a cute mug. Like I couldn't really find a cute mug, so maybe we'll just stop by there, really quick, because that's all I need. I don't need to go crazy. I spent plenty of money. And to dark. Dark. <laughs> I felt the night before. I ended up not going to Home Goods because I remembered that I had a sign that I got last year. It was just in the attic. And I've never been in my attic before, but I mustered up the courage and I got it out and I put it by the front door. So we really didn't need to go to Home Goods. This is a combination of everything that I just bought from Target and things that I already had. 
I'll be honest, most of it is things that I just bought from Target, but we'll go through it. I think that these towels are so cute. I got this for my guest bathroom. I actually already had this, I think, from Home Goods a couple of years ago. I got two new pumpkins because I just really like that design. Some command strips to hold something. This ghost pillow was on the $5 section. How cute. And then I just needed some more lotion, some more body wash, and I picked up um, one of these because they always have like fall smells that come out. This is the, what is it, the fall leaves, I think? Yeah, fall leaves. And then I got some candy for the trick-or-treaters. I already have one of these. I typically put one of these out every year, but mine is like five years old. It's super tangled, so I just bought a new one. I like to put up like some spider webs and spiders, and mine is really old of that too, so I got some more of those. I got some cute little like ghost steak lights, some spiders that I think I'm going to put on my front door. I got this for my bathroom just to put like soap on. I don't know. I just thought it was cute. This is what I have already had some of this stuff. So I already had this pumpkin patch sign. I already had a few of these pumpkins. I actually just got this one from Target just now. I think I'm going to put it on my new dresser because I think that would be cute. And then I absolutely adore these um, garland leaves. So I picked this up from Target. And then I picked this up from Target. And I'm so excited to decorate. So let's get to it. decorated it is so cute i'm obsessed um, but it's now one o'clock and i need to get out of the house i also feel like i need a little bit of caffeine i've been up since six o'clock and um i want to do some editing i finished editing one of my videos for the new grad in peace survival guide so that is good i have one more to edit so i'm gonna run to a starbucks grab a coffee, edit it there, and then I'm gonna come back and hopefully I'll have time to film one more before my yoga class. I don't think my yoga class is until 5.30, so I'm sure I will have the time. Some point today I need to text my boss and ask what my appointment like schedule is like for tomorrow because I don't know as far as aesthetics, but we'll figure that out. Let's go to Starbucks and get some work done. Number four, I do not care what state you live in. Your starting salary should be no less than six figures. End of discussion. I have been a busy, busy, busy girl. Went to Starbucks, got a video edited, and then I came back home, and I ended up filming two videos for my NP survival guide. I actually think that I'm gonna be done with it in the next couple of weeks, which is super exciting, but I need to find somebody to put the website together, to put the bundle together, so that I can like get it to you guys, if that makes sense. I'm not sure if I said this earlier. I'm just making the dogs a little like, I don't know what it's called it's like a snack in one of their like brain toys it is 4 10 i'm gonna sit down and try to edit two of those videos i have not decorated the outside of my house yet but maybe i'll do that tomorrow if i have time and um i have a yoga class at 5 30 so i really want to get some video editing done if i can I'm so tired. I feel like today has been the longest day of my life. I've been up since six o'clock, which is only an hour late earlier than I typically am. And like this day is so long. I think I've also just been incredibly productive. So I'm like, there's still so much time left in the day and I've already accomplished so much, which is a great problem to have. Fast forward a couple hours. It is now almost nine o'clock. I just showered, washed my hair um, and I'm making a glass of tea but i went to a yoga class this evening i sat and really just like edited all afternoon um and then i went to my yoga class and then i just ran to sprouts grabbed a few poppies olipops and came home ate some leftovers for dinner so you guys didn't miss any like fun meals or anything like that and now i'm about to go sit on my couch and edit some more I'm trying to decide if i want to edit or if i should just chill i don't know what's going on for tomorrow. 
my boss is not answering me on what time I should be there tomorrow. And I'm not sure if it's because she takes Mondays off, like the company is typically closed on Mondays, so it could very well be that she just takes Mondays off and maybe we've never talked before on a Monday. Anyway, it's very unlike her to not answer me. She's usually like on top of it. She always has her phone with her. She's always on. So I'm a little nervous, I'm not gonna lie. I'm like, oh, I could have worked in primary care tomorrow and seen patients. This whole thing is like, I'm not gonna lie, it's like a little bit difficult to go from a steady paycheck to, I would still have a steady paycheck, but it's literally like half of what I was currently making. And don't get me wrong, I do make money from social media. Um, but I've been living very comfortably and you know, my husband has a paycheck, so I'm fine. Like, don't feel sorry for me, but I just like, with aesthetics, it's like 100% commission based. So I don't really know how much money I'm gonna be making there. I'm taking a leap of faith. So anyway, I'm feeling a little bit anxious. So hopefully this tea will help me. I have on Gilmore Girls. This is my first time watching Gilmore Girls and I really enjoyed it, it's super cute. So I think it's gonna be like my fall show. I'm also still watching Pretty Little Liars, but sometimes it's just a little too intense. So this is like a nice evening show. Good morning, you guys. It's Tuesday morning. I am heading to the gym. My boss did get back to me last night and she was like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. But it had been a very busy few days for her, so. Um, I have a few clients today um, after like my first one starts at noon, so I'm gonna go in. Then it is 8.30, I'm currently going to the gym. And then one of my clients, like the first one, is going to be kind of a not a test as in like how did you do did you pass or fail but a test is in how comfortable I feel like doing the consultation and then actually performing like what the patient needs now if it's something that I'm not comfortable with performing my favorite thing about this company is they're like don't do it like if you're not comfortable don't do it we don't care about the money um, <clears throat> So we'll see how we'll see how it goes. I'm a little nervous. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I've been like watching some videos this morning just to like reassure myself. I know what I'm doing. Um, so we'll see. Eating some breakfast. I made myself a, two pieces of toast with some pesto, and then I had some grapes. I needed to have like some sort of protein, but I didn't feel like making like a tofu scramble or anything like that. And I don't have any protein drinks, so it is what it is. I'm about to take a shower, and then we're gonna get ready. To go, it's 10.45, I kinda wanna get there around like 11.40. I don't wanna be there too long where like I start getting anxious sitting there, but I also like wanna be there in time to like prep my room and stuff. All right, we are ready to go. I have got my white coat in the car. I've got enough deodorant on to um, help, uh, I don't know, somebody twice my size because I know I'm gonna be sweating. These are the scrubs that they gave me to wear. I hate them. <laughs> They just like don't fit me well. I, I don't like them. I'm such a figs girly when it comes to scrubs. I also like hate joggers. Like look at this. This looks so weird. I don't like it. So they let me order some figs and then I'm just going to get them um, whatever this is called on there. So I'm just waiting for them to come in and then I'm going to bring them to my boss to get done. Also like the butt does weird stuff. I don't know. I don't like them. They're the brand Maeve. One of my coworkers at Primary Care always like raves about this brand. She likes them. I hate them. Ooh, this is nice. Girl, this audience is you right here. Good morning, you guys. I feel like this is how I start all of my Fridays. The last day that I think that we chatted, I want to say it was Tuesday, possibly Wednesday. No, it was definitely Tuesday because I was like, I didn't need to bring this vlog into Wednesday because I work in primary care and I didn't. So I'm sorry for that. It has been kind of a just weird the last few days. So I did work in primary care on Wednesday, but that we had a hurricane come through yesterday, Hurricane Helene. So I was off work yesterday. And so I'm making up for that day off by working in primary care today. And then I switched my aesthetics day with another girl who typically covers our South Tampa office. She was kind enough to cover my office today. So we just merged the patients so that was really sweet um I just my Friday ritual is always if I have to work in primary care on Friday I get a Starbucks so I got a um 
iced maple latte, not maple, sorry, an iced pecan latte, the non-dairy one with the non-dairy cold foam and then I just do half sweet and it's really good. Well, a few like updates, so we have the hurricane and I have been working on my new NP survival guide this for probably now six weeks to two months. Actually, it's probably been like two months, but I, so I finished like the videos the beginning of this week and I just had to figure out how to put them on some type of forum to get them acts like to get you guys access to them so I figured that out I've been doing that for the last like three days essentially so I'm using this site called Kajabi and I got everything posted so I'm going to link my website in um, the description so that you guys can have access it but basically the new grad NP survival guide is available there it is six videos um, a it's my resume without like the exact places that I've work worked in the times that I've worked there. And then you also get my farm guide when you buy it. So you can buy a few of those things separately. So you can buy my NP resume separately. You can buy my farm guide separately. And But everything together is bundled. So I think that that's really cool. I'm really excited for you guys to get your hands on it if it's something that you've um, been interested in. And then something really cool that I am wanting to do that I kind of posted, but it's not really gaining a lot of traction. I think it's because it costs right now, but I want to create these like online forums essentially for nurses and then, or nursing students and then nurse practitioners and nurse practitioner students. And it's where we all have access to each other's thoughts outside of the internet. And I did need it to put it behind a paid wall because I don't want anybody to have access to it. So, um, it's very very cheap it's like a monthly subscription for nurses and nursing students it's $2.99 and then for nurse practitioners it's $4.99 or nurse practitioner students and I kind of clump them together because I feel like those are the people that can learn best from each other like I don't think having nurse practitioners in the nursing forum is really the best idea because nursing students I feel like would be better there so you know you can bounce stuff off of each other but what I really want it to be is like a safe place for people to talk about their feelings how they're doing with nursing if they have any patient cases or like if they had a difficult um a difficult case that they wanted to discuss obviously without like violating HIPAA or anything like that it would be really cool to have access like to have that all together and basically a place where I don't know like we can just all connect and like create this community because I know I have this community online on TikTok but like it's hard when like you can comment on people's videos I cannot get to every DM you know like it's impossible so I don't know that was just like my idea behind that so I really want to push that more um, because I think it's like a really great place for all of us to be together. But anyway, I'm so excited that that is like live and available for you guys. Um, maybe I'll make a code for my YouTube girlies. There is a code that's live today. It's happy fall for 10% off of the new grad in peace survival guide. But, um, by the time you see this video, it won't be active anymore. So I think I'll probably make a code for my YouTube girlies and put that on the screen right here. Did you miss your mom? Oh, he is so sweet. Hi, baby. Come on. I'll come with you. Let mama grab a snack. These are like my go-to snack, you guys. I'm obsessed with these like sesame sticks. I'm coming.